Hi there and welcome to Colorado Spring Small Engine Repair and in this video we're going to do a tune-up on a Honda lawnmower. And if you watch any of my previous videos, um, usually I, I say what I'm going to do and we do time lapse and kind of, you know, go through it. More vlog style. Uh, this one's going to be more step by step, um, real time. So I'm going to show you exactly what we do for a tune-up. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start it up and we're going to warm it up before we change the oil. But before I even do that, um, I check the oil, make sure there's oil in it, and um, check that there's gas in it, things like that. So the oil dipstick is on this side, and there's definitely oil in it, there's gas in it, gas is on. We'll pop the air filter off, cover, actually that looks really clean, which is good. Um, I don't know why I took that all the way off, didn't need to do that. backwards to me it's like somebody had this off this should be like yeah it should be up pulling this way let's put that on right let's see slow fast throwing This seems really odd to be pointing that way. Hey, just remove these three. And we'll just turn it. Cord is really short, huh? Nothing. Spray a tiny bit of styrene fluid in there. I'll match, I know I'll catch flack from people for doing this, but it's been sitting all winter. Still not. So, what I'm checking now. It's fully choked. It's got the automatic choke in it. So let's uh, push it open and spray a little bit more starting fluid down in there. Well, <laughs> maybe. 
maybe that key that's open that's on that's the starter doesn't seem to work but i wonder if that key still needs to be on the opposition i bet Right, you can hear it's running really rough um, and if gas sat in that carburetor that's gonna be tip very typical but I didn't realize when I was talking about it not starting here's the on off um, so you do have to put it in the on position so this up here the the clutch and the blade control um, have nothing to do with it being on or off it just has to have the switch on um, all right, let's go ahead and change the oil, new spark plug, check the blades, and then um, we'll start it back up. If it's still surging like that, then we'll have to pull the carburetor off. Gotta move ya, otherwise I'm gonna hit. All right, so we're gonna let the oil drain. Let's move you again. Hope that's not too loud. Then we inspect the blades. Typical grass buildup. But here's the, you can't see it on the camera, but here's the front edge of the blades. And actually these are really sharp. Um, There's, there's no reason to sharpen these. They've got a good edge on them still. So. All right, let's uh, move you around and uh, you can see this, where the spark plug is at. Spark plug is right here. And there's a leaf. change the spark plug we always make sure that it's the same one and I actually keep three different kinds of spark plugs on hand that do like 95% of the work that I do um, every once in a while I get caught without one and I'll just have to order it but you saw I did that all by hand I put the spark plug all the way in and it's in and tight by hand. Then you put your socket wrench on there and just barely snug it. Don't use the socket to start it because if you cross thread the threads, no bueno. You'll ruin the head. All right, oil should be drained. So we'll flip it back up. typical and for lawnmowers you just put straight 30 weight in them uh, you're not using them out in the cold so you don't need 5w30 you just put straight 30 
and then you'll see on this dipstick right here is full so we'll put oil on there and then we'll check to see where we're at, at the level So yeah, just pour something in, put the dipstick back in, see where it's at, check it again. Use a little bit more. Yes, I'm getting oil everywhere, but Part of the tune-up is I degrease them and clean them up. So this will be cleaned up before we get done here. Tune-up includes a new air filter. Um, I'm not going to put it on yet because of how it was running. We're going to see what happens here when we start it back up. Because we might pull this part and clean the carburetor. put it to slow it dies so all right let's uh, do that all right this can be a quite interesting job to do depending on how the studs are in here um, we'll see what happens Yeah, okay, so the studs are gonna come all the way out. So lining it back up to get it together, the only way I can do it is to turn the motor on its side and I use skewers to line everything up. Coming apart's not too bad. It's just getting it all back together. You just take these two bolts out and there's the oil bypass blow off on the back that just slides off. Here's the carburetor. Um, see everything's just falling apart so putting it back together trying to do it like this you'll see in a few. <laughs> Not very fun. I bend this out of the way Here's that piece. Gas is going everywhere. Whoops, to turn the gas off. Gotta disconnect the throttle linkage here. 
there's a spring in the actual linkage. So you just use a pair of pliers to help get them off. You also got to disconnect the, the gas line. Put a little clip down here. Wiggle your gas line off. That one wasn't too bad. And then remember where this linkage goes. There's only two holes. It goes to the closest this way. Paper element. Another paper element. All right, let's take this to the bench. All right, first thing is you take off this bottom bolt. And you take out this pin that holds the float on. Don't lose the needle. You saw it kind of just flopped out there on me. There's a jet in here that has to come out. So you need a long skinny screwdriver. There it goes, tap it out. And then we inspect the, the emulsion tube and all this and I can already see um, build up. It might not show up on camera, but I can, I can see it. So that tells me why it was running the way that it was. Um, gotta take this off. So I gotta back the idle adjustment screw out so kind of take a mental note where that is at or take a picture so you can set it back to the way it was. I'm going to take this piece out. Is it this piece doesn't come out this is just a fine adjustment um, I'm not going to take this off but we are going to run this thing through the, the carb cleaner put it in our basket and I'll be back in 10 minutes instantaneous for you aren't you lucky Ooh, that water is warm. <laughs> All right, so now I use an air compressor. It'll be a little loud. And I use carb and throttle bottle cleaner and I squirt it through the through the passageways here and make the make sure it just comes out. There's nothing clogging it up. See 
seems pretty good. Now the other thing is, after we do this, it still might not work correctly. And that could be because the choke is worked by a little device that as it heats up, it expands and it moves. So if it's stuck and it's fully choked, then it's, it's not going to run right. But we'll see once we get it back together here. set my socket down. I could be back. Hi. Hi. My, my assistants have showed up. Your assistant showed up? Yeah, X-Men. All right, so off camera, I pulled out the automatic choke on a Honda lawnmower. It wasn't that easy to get out, but what I want to demonstrate, and we'll see if it's working or not, is you just take a lighter, and what should happen is as this chamber heats up, the gas expands, it pushes this pin out, and when it pushes the pin out, it turns the choke off. And I think this one is dead because when I, be, I was going to go put the carburetor back on. Oh, wait, there it goes. Doo -doo. It's coming out. See, see how the, it came out. So I was wrong. Seems to be okay. So that's good. And then as that gas um, cools down, that pen will go back in. I don't want to touch it now. Yeah, it's just a little warm because I had a flame on there. But like right now, I, I can't push the pin back in. So that's good. That gas is heated up and it's holding. So that tells me that's good. I was almost thinking that was bad. And we're going to go put that back in. And I'll show you the spot it goes in. Whoops. You should be able to see right here where the screwdriver is going in. Just a little spot for it. Just wiggle it back in there. Just sits in there. So that's where that goes. Um, next, we got to put all this together. So that's going to be fun. So here's my bar barbecue skewers. Um, yeah, you can see this can be a real uh, challenge to do. So there's the barbecue skewers. This piece actually is pretty easy to put on because it, you know, it just fits right back where it should go. You can see the pin is actually sticking out still from me hitting it up, so it moves that. So that goes there. And we have this paper gasket that's got to go. And you got the carburetor that's got to go. But before you 
do all that, you gotta hook up the linkage for the carburetor. So where's that? All right. So remember which hole it went in. Hook the spring back up. And you gotta hook the fuel line up. Ah, there goes my uh, gasket. <laughs> ah. fuel, fuel line, get the clamp back on there. That's on. What else we got? Oh yeah, we got the um, oil blow off. That's got to come out right here. Let's see. And we also got this gasket that's got to go on. Let's get that back down there. Barbecue skewers. Yeah, I can already tell that then it's not lined up. But it's gonna have to work it. Is that one? Alright, that one's all the way in. Sweet. all the way through okay so now we got everything lined up and then that gasket goes on this side this guy goes like that and you got to hook the line up to the back of this so you can't see what I'm doing. I can barely see what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so we leave one skewer in, pull one out, And Jimmy this bolt in there. And if we're lined up good, this one will start. I think it has. Nope. My phone's ringing. Ain't answering it. In the middle of putting bolts in. Alright, it's in there. Sweet. Alright, so now it's not tight. It's just snug in there. This one's still lined up. Put the bolt in. slid right in there. So that's how I do these. 
Hopefully that helps you out if you ever have to do this. All right, let's put it back upright and let it sit for a minute because all the oil is over on the side of the engine right now. That was a little bit actually uh, more uh, time than a, a normal um, tune-up. Uh, the engine was rrr, rrr, rrr. Uh, I had to take the carburetor apart uh, a second time and clean all the passageways, um, things like that. And whenever I have a job that yeah, that it just doesn't run right, I'll run it through the cleaner once. Still not running right. Run it through the cleaner twice, double check all the, you know, passageways. I poke holes in them, make sure that everything's going the way it should. And after two times, if it won't run right, new carburetor. Um, but you can see that one, two times, put it back together and uh, starts right up now. Uh, seems to be running pretty good, so that one is done. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, so if you got to tune up that particular model or something similar, it's similar steps. So I hope that really helps you out. Um, I thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.